Hello guys, by the end of this tutorial, we will have something like this. This is called a view pager and this is, this can be used in onboarding activities. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, what we will be doing is we will be adding a view pager to our activity or layout. So this view pager is what we will be using to achieve that slide effect. And then finally, we will create a view pager adapter. Now, this adapter is responsible for showing different fragments or different views on different pages. So on the first page, it's showing something in the second, something else and the third, something else. So that will be returned by our view pager adapter. And we will set the view, uh, set the adapter to return the correct fragment according to on which page the user is. And we will remove action bar and status bar finally. So if you don't remove this action bar and status bar, it will look something like, okay, where is it? This, so as you can see here, this is action bar or toolbar. And we have this status bar here. So we also remove these two, otherwise it doesn't look that good as you can see. First of all, we need two uh, layouts or views for that. First one is this info pager activity. I already have this created here as you can see. And you just need a view pager. That's all. You can choose to have some other things here. But just for this, we just need a view pager here. So I already have a view pager inside a linear layout. So go ahead and create that. I have named, it, named this VP main. And, and then we need a fragment which will actually show the content. So if we put these side by side. Now this image view is this uh, thing that's where the image is showing. And this button is this next thing. So in each fragment we have an image view and a button. So what happens is this is the main activity right and the view pager shows the fragments so this is fragment one you slide you can see another fragment so the view pager is showing three fragments at the moment so let's go ahead if you have not created this go ahead and create this uh, info fragment so this is actually the fragment that will be visible in our onboarding screen as one screen you slide you can get another instance of this fragment so uh, this is also pretty simple, just a linear layout with vertical orientation and an image view and a button. All right. So I have named these in IV info and PTN bottom. You can choose this to be whatever you want. And also, uh, I've also added this background to our button so that uh, just the text is visible and with, with this effect, ripple effect. Okay, so once you have these two ready, Let's go to the actual Java code. Alright, so first I'll create a new activity and let's call it info pager activity. And as usual, it extends app compare activity. Why am I not getting suggestions here? Okay, there you go. And in the on create, you just set the content view to our main onboarding activity or uh, instructions activity, whatever you want to call it. So it was info page activity. All right, and now we'll add a reference to our view pager. BP main, I think was the name, yes. All right, now what we need to do is, okay, why am I getting this error here? Oh, that's fine. So we have the pager. Now we need to create an adapter that will show different fragments. So we will attach an adapter to this view page, this view pager, and that adapter will pass uh, this fragment as in position one, this fragment in position two, and this fragment in position three. So let's create the adapter. Create a new Java class. Let's call it my pager adapter. And if this extends fragment pager adapter. Now this is very important guys. So keep this in mind. This should extend fragment pager adapter. All right. 
now I'll hit control enter sorry alt enter to implement the methods now this get count is actually the number of fragments that are that are in a view pager so we have three things right we have a running and this basket fragment and then finally this tennis fragment so this will return three and why is this error still being shown okay so we don't have a default constructor let's add a default constructor here okay now we know the number of fragments in the page will be three but we also need to define which fragment will be shown in which position here so right now we don't have any fragment uh, class here so let's create info fragment class and this extends fragment as the, as usual and here we override the on create view method and in on create view we will return our info fragment or onboarding screen so use the inflator what was our name yeah, it's info fragment container and false okay so now since this these images are dynamically assigned according to which position it is and the text uh, in the button is also dynamically assigned we need to get reference to those things so we'll define two variables image view iv1 and button btn1 all right so what were the names? View by ID, IV info, and the button's name was, I think, what was the name? Button bottom, yes, it was button bottom. So now we have our, our button and image ready so that. Uh, according to the position the text and the uh, image in the fragment can be changed so <clears throat> okay now we'll store a variable here let's call it current position to store which position uh, the fragment will be shown in so let's call it corpus by default it's one okay and Let's create a setter method. I'll just to add setter methods, you can just hit Alt plus Insert, and then you can select setter from here. And we want a setter for our boss, and this is it. Your setter method is created. So now in here, what do we do? Okay, I forgot this. It should return our view, and we will switch the boss. So. If the case is one, that means the first fragment is visible. This is, that is this is running one. We want to set the image view to this image. So what we do is we go iv one dot set image resource and the drawable is v one. Or you can have anything else. Okay, and let's set the button one text to uh, next okay all right so similarly we handle this for case two and case three right so if it's two uh, my image's name is P2, you can have anything here. So I already have this P1, P2, P3 ready. So uh, it's a shortcut for P page one, page two, and page three. And in the last fragment, we want proceed on the button, not next. So I make that change. All right. So our fragment is also ready. Now this is just a, a quick placeholder fragment. You can have anything, any complex stuff in your fragment, guys. All right. So now, what do we need to do here? Okay. okay first let's uh, make three fragments here 
my what is the fragment name info fragment info fragment let's call them page one page two and page three all right and whenever it is initialized we initialize uh, when the uh, page adapter is being created we initialize these fragments too let's call them info fragment uh, let's initialize them and page one dot set current post it's one and i'll just copy and paste it for two more of the fragments so now we have our three fragments ready to be displayed right all initialized and just ready to be displayed okay so now in this get item we can now simply switch the eye now this eye is the position of the fragment that that will be returned so if this eye is one right, right uh, fragment one should be returned and if the eye is two fragment two should be returned similarly if the eye is three this eye is actually the position of the view pager all right so i'll return page one here and similarly i'll have two more cases for three and two okay so we have okay so according now finally we have according to the position of the view pager we have the correct page returned okay and the count is three we have our fragments initialized here and inside the fragment according to which fragment we are showing according to the, according to the current position that uh, the appropriate image will be shown okay so this is it now we just need to assign this adapter to our view pager so what do we do is we do a pager dot set adapter and we'll go new info pager adapter okay where's my solutions there you go and okay this i've provided activity we need my pager adapter sorry the name was wrong that's my page adapter and what does it require it requires a fragment manager as you can see so you just go get support fragment manager and this is it so if I run this why am I getting this red line this Android studio is acting weird today anyway let's try to run this okay straight away we have an error here this happens and why do we have this error is okay this should be it on create view so now this byte allocation has failed so this is not actually a technical error my images are too large it seems okay guys so uh, okay I figured it out it is not uh, that the size is big even though that can be an error that was I was viewing it for some other app uh, it was preloaded now the actual error is this this is the actual error that we are getting now uh, if you want me to try to run this again let's just run this again so we can get this error again now this was a very stupid mistake that I did but it happens you know so let's try to run this again and see the error again okay see as you can see this, is, this has crashed again and now if you want to check the uh, uh, this is just the debugging process guys you can just skip few seconds ahead 
if you don't want to see this but if I run this app I'll get the error okay and as you can see this is the error uh, null pointer exception on null object reference and this is there is we don't actually have uh, we don't actually have any of our code that is showing the error so our syntax is correct there's probably a problem in our logic right so what I thought was maybe it's just uh, some kind of an build error so I just rebuilt it again and it was still showing the same error and and what I did stupidly was this case one is not case one it's case zero as you already know as programmers this is not one this is zero and now I just changed these to zero one two and if I try to run this again that which I've which I've already done so if the case is zero that means the first page will be visible similarly second page for case one and third page for case two all right so now that I have done this it's not crashing but now we don't have any image that's because while debugging a little bit earlier I had commented these things so I just if I just on comment tests you will see that it is working now you have not on commented this or commented this so it should have worked for you on the first try anyway let's try to see the final product finally okay so here we have now if I slide I can see all my fragments and this is looking good now one more thing if you want to remove this top bar what do you need to do alright so if you want to remove that go to your main activity and you need to do get window and then you need to add set flags and the flags are window manager okay dot layout params dot full screen where is it yes this one flags full screen and in the mask also you just pass the full screen okay so if you do this now you will see full screen also I don't also have this activity bar scroll seen here as you can see in most apps to remove that I've just uh, changed the style from oh, what is it change the style from and if you have any action bar here action bar is visible then just change the style to this no action bar and it should work as we can see here now not even the status bar or uh, action bar or task bar no bars are visible so this is it guys if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section below